All right, today I am going to be trying something pretty different, something I've never done before past all the competition, man, PewDiePie is next, no. Um, and that is a tier list video. So today, as you can see, I am going to be, can you see? I don't know, oh, yes, there we go. As you can see, today I am going to be ranking the best wrestlers of all time. This is a template that was made. I didn't create this myself, so all the wrestlers here are you know given to me i'm not i haven't chosen these wrestlers and as you can see we have one two three four five different categories here so we have trash which is the worst category possible that is when a wrestler is just straight trash i'm not sure if i'll rank anyone in that tier but you never know we'll see and then the next one up from that is not at full potential so that i guess means like you know they didn't really get to show what they're truly capable of and then up next is good but not great great and then the goat category which is the greatest of all time so they are the the best of 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 the best i'm the beast i'm the best all right so up first we have seth freaking rollins seth rollins is an all around solid wrestler, okay? And by the way, I'm ranking these on like, you know, just the, the type of matches they put on, how good their wrestling skills are, how good their promos are, just like the overall package for a wrestler. And Seth Rollins is definitely up there. WWE would not be the same without good old Rollins, like it just wouldn't be. He has done so much in his career. And yes, me and Seth Rollins may have had a little bit of a squabble through the DMs, but that does not take anything away from my opinion of him as a wrestler. And my opinion of Seth Rollins as a wrestler, <sighs> this is a big move, but I truly believe that Seth Rollins is one of the GOATs. I'm not joking. Usually one of the GOATs would be one of the older guys, you know, like one of the legends. And Seth Rollins is still in his prime, I guess, so he's not considered a legend. But, man, like, the, the matches he's put on, the championships he's won, everything he has done has just, for me at least, put him into the GOAT category. I mean, there's been so many Seth Rollins matches that has, I guess, had me on the edge of my seat. Normally when I'm watching wrestling these days, I never, like, get excited throughout the matches i never like oh oh yeah but with seth rollins matches there's something about him that he just knows he just knows how to wrestle other people like i don't know mojo raleigh knows how to wrestle but seth rollins knows how to wrestle if you know what i mean like he just goes above and beyond for his matches and he just puts on absolute masterpieces pretty much every time he sets foot in the ring He's so freaking good. So that is why he is going in the GOATS section. He's also very good at promos. He can talk. He can wrestle really, really well. So I think he's one of the best, truly. But up next, we have the great Kali. I have seen some of his matches. And from what I've seen, this big geezer. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, he's not great, let's be honest. Is he trash? No. Is he? Like, as a wrestler, he's... <sighs> I don't know. You see, not at full potential. I don't like the name of that, you know? Can I change that? Because the Great Kali, I guess, did reach his potential because he had plenty of opportunities, won championships and that, but still his wrestling is just not great. Like, he's just not fun to watch. He doesn't make he doesn't put you on the edge of your seat when you're watching his matches you know he's just kind of boring he's kind of boring man and uh i'm not sure if people would agree with me but that's what i think at least obviously it's good to have these massive wrestlers in the company that are like considered monsters and they just destroy everyone in their path but the wrestling he's just he's slow he doesn't do much so i don't know can i change this I actually can. You know what? I'm changing this. Is that good? Yeah, I've changed it. So this category is now called He's Alright, I suppose. And that fits perfectly 
with the Great Kali. Up next we have Brett, the Hitman Heart. Oh baby! Now, this guy is one of the, the legends. You know, when you ask anyone, even if they're wrestling fans or not, who Bret Hart is, they just know that Bret Hart was a good wrestler. And I do think that he is, no, this is obvious, he's one of the GOATs. Like, just, no, we don't even need to discuss that. Bret Hart is one of the GOATs, no doubt about it. And same goes for Triple H here. He is also one of the GOATs. And Triple H's matches are just incredible nearly every time. What comes to mind is his epic matches with The Undertaker, Brock Lesnar, and again he's one of the few wrestlers that is just so unbelievably talented and knows how to put on a clinic, knows how to put on an incredible show that just has you hooked the whole way through the match. So for that reason he is up there with one of the best of all time. His promos as well, unreal, like he, he just has the whole package really. And WWE would not be the same without Triple H, and that is facts, my friends. That is strike facts. Up next we have, uh, oh, who is that, Kurt Angle? I'm gonna say that's Kurt Angle. If it's not, I apologize. Wait, is that Rob Van Dam? Oh, it might be. Oh, it's either Kurt Angle or Rob Van Dam. Wait, no, I'm, I'm saying the, what does he do? Rob Van Dam. That's, that's him, that's him, that's him. That's not Kurt Angle. So Rob Van Dam, this guy is very, very agile, very athletic, has some very nice moves in his arsenal that are pretty fun to watch, like the, the roly-poly and the uh, front flip, whatever that is. Not too sure, the five-star frog splash. And then um, he's also like one of the, the best, I would say, at Money in the Bank matches. So this guy, he's a risk taker. He has created some epic moments in the likes of the Money in the Bank matches, jumping off ladders, jumping off this, that, and whatever. So he is a thrill seeker. He's one of those wrestlers that makes you makes you pop when something goes on in the ring, you know what I'm saying? So Rob Van Dam, is he one of the GOATs though? Nah, I, I wouldn't say so. I would say Rob Van Dam is definitely great. Not quite one of the greatest of all time. I just don't see him being with these guys, you know? So I'm gonna put him in the great category. Up next we have Chris Jericho. Okay. I think we all know where Chris Jericho is going. Straight in the trash, boy! No, 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 no. It's a joke. I kid, I kid, I kid. Straight up to the top with the likes of Triple H, Bret Hart, Seth Rollins. Chris Jericho is again just one of the greatest of all time and no one can really argue with that. Chris Jericho is a fantastic wrestler, had many championship wins in WWE, still going strong, even though he's getting quite old now, he's still doing really well in AEW, and his wrestling is just phenomenal. That Codebreaker is one of the greatest finishers I've ever seen in my life, and yeah, he is also one of the guys that when you see him wrestle, you know, you're, you're always excited to see Chris Jericho wrestle, really, aren't you? Like, his matches are always good, never disappoints, always has you on the edge of the seat, which is the way I'm describing the goats. If they have me on the edge of my seat, like on the edge, on the edge, and I'm like properly fully hooked into the match, that means you're a goat, all right? That means you're a goat, not a sheep, a goat. So Chris Jericho is definitely one of the goats. I actually recently watched his match with AJ Styles at WrestleMania 32, and that right there, my friends, was uh, too sweet. So, up next we have Big Show. Big Show is a very well-known wrestler. He has made an impact in the industry. And I have seen a good few Big Show matches. He's again one of the big guys that wrestles slower. But comparing him to the Great Khali, Big Show's wrestling just is better. <sighs> I'm not too sure where to put him though. I would put Big Show in great. He's not quite one of the GOATs. Or is he? Oh, I don't know. Nah, I'll leave him in great, I'll leave him in great. Ric Flair, he's one of the GOATs, like, no doubt about it. Ric Flair, the fact that he gave birth to Charlotte Flair means that he's a GOAT, because Charlotte Flair is a GOAT, and that means he's a GOAT, because he didn't do anything in his career. It's all Charlotte Flair. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. Um, Ric Flair, 
obviously did tremendously in his career, won many a championships, had many great matches, and I also recently, very recently, watched his retirement match against Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 24, and that right there was just beautiful. So Ric Flair, again, is one of the guys that knows what he's doing, knows how to put on a show, and is just all around a fucking boss. So yeah, he's definitely one of the GOATs. And I'm not joking about Charlotte Flair, by the way. She actually is, I would say, one of the GOATs of the female division. Division? 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 Je m'appelle Scott. Je suis smart de bigne. And people do say, oh, Charlotte Flair just gets everything handed to her, but her wrestling is top notch. So I would definitely say that if we were doing a woman's version of this, Charlotte Flair would be right up there in the GOATs category, 100%. Anyway, up next we have AJ Styles. AJ Styles is going up top, 100%, no doubt about it. Definitely one of my favourite wrestlers I have ever witnessed in my life. It's the same story, every match I see from AJ Styles is just beautiful. It's an absolute masterpiece. His wrestling is just incredible. The moves he can pull off are unhuman like the guy is just a legend i don't even need to comment more about that everyone knows who's watching this video how good aj styles is he's definitely one of the best wrestlers in the world right now and i think everyone would agree with that so he's going right up there in the goats category 100 percent kevin nash is that yeah kevin nash a part of the nwo big faction back in the day I know that he came back as well at some point, he had that feud with Triple H that I checked out on YouTube, CM Punk was involved in that as well, I actually love by the way watching back CM Punk's promos, matches, all that stuff, like he is so freaking good and I need him to come back so I can witness him live in the action, but the point is Kevin Nash, where does he go? I wouldn't say he's one of the GOATs, but he is pretty freaking cool. Um, as a wrestler. He's again one of the big guys, so he moves a bit slower. He, he's still good at wrestling, though he knows what he's doing. So he's definitely not like, you know, he's alright, I suppose. I think he will be the first to go in the good, but not great category. He's good, he knows how to wrestle, but he doesn't like know how to wrestle like Seth Rollins or one of these guys up here, so... But then will he go in great with Big Show and Rob Van Dam? I don't know. I don't know. I've never watched a Kevin Nash match and been like, whoa, whoa. Wait, have I even watched a Kevin Nash match at all? That's a weird thing to say, by the way. Kevin Nash match, Kevin Nash match, Kevin Nash match, Kevin Nash match, Kevin Nash match. Kevin Nash match. Kevin Nash. <laughs> I'm gonna stick him in the good but not great. I feel like people will not agree with me on that one though. Should he go one up? Oh, shit! I'm not too sure. Oh, I'll leave him, I'll leave him, I'll leave him. Alberto Del Rio, you know what, as a human being he's going straight in the trash, I'm not going to lie because he literally just got arrested for sexual assault, I don't know what's going on there, he had a whole big scandal with Paige a while back, this guy is just straight up dodgy, <laughs> so you know what, well we can't really judge him on his actual personality and what he's like in real life, it's all about the wrestling ability, as a wrestler he's going in the, oh, uh one of these two because he is pretty freaking good like i've seen a, a quite a few alberto del rio matches and he, he he's good you know he's good but is he great if kevin nash is there well i don't oh mate this is getting complex you know this is getting quite complex i'm not too sure with my decision making here i'll stick him in the great section because to be fair to him i do really enjoy watching his matches and even though he's a bit of a scumbag right now, I mean, I, I don't know if these allegations are true or whatever, like, I don't know if he got arrested for the right reasons, but he does seem like a bit of a, a bit of a bad person, really. So, even though, well, that aside, his wrestling is still fantastic, so I'm putting him in the great category, up there with Big Show and Rob Van Damme, yeah. Up next, we have Stone Cold Steve Austin, just going in the ghost section, Baron Corbin. <laughs> No questions asked, no comments needed, Stone Cold is just, I would say he's like, he's like, you know, in front of all these guys as well, potentially, maybe, yeah, I, I would say so, well, Triple H maybe, mm. if I was to order the goats right now, 
I would do Stone Cold, Triple H, Ric Flair, Bret Hart, Chris Jericho, AJ, and then Seth, because these two are very good, but, you know, they haven't fulfilled their legacy, so to speak, like these guys up here, and Jericho maybe as well, so that's how I would order the goats, even though I didn't need to do that, but anyway, Baron Corbin is up next. Baron Corbin? Hmm... You know what, this man has actually grown on me a lot in the past few months. I've always really enjoyed how he wrestles, like he's very good, he puts on great matches and his finishers by the way are just incredible. That's one thing that I've said from the start about Baron Corbin, the end of days, the deep six are just two really cool moves. So I've got to give him props for that, he does have a great set of finishers right there, but as an overall wrestler he's pretty good. He's not one of the goats. I, I know if I put him up there, people would earn, like proper earn my throat. Like, earn, ow, earn. But I am actually going to put him up in the great section, I think. Or, well, Kevin Nash is there. Mm, is he better than Kevin Nash? Oh, that's going to raise some questions. That's going to raise some eyebrows. You know what? I think he is, to be honest with you. I mean, if I watched Kevin Nash in his prime, like some of you will have. I might be thinking differently here, but um, he's going in great. Baron Corbin is a fantastic wrestler, fantastic heel as well. He plays his role perfectly, so yeah, he's pretty freaking great. Pretty freaking great. Oh, Hulk Hogan. Okay, yeah, he's going up in the ghosts, I think. Hulk Hogan, again, is one of those icons, you would say. One of the icons of the wrestling industry. Like, when you ask someone about wrestling that doesn't really know about wrestling, they know about Hulk Hogan. Everyone knows Hulk Hogan. And I think he was there since WrestleMania 1. Like, he is the OG of OGs, you know what I'm saying? Hulk Hogan is just... He's one of the first, I think, so... He cannot go in any other category. His wrestling as well was good. Put on some good matches, so yeah, perfect. Going in the goats. Dean... Um, bros, I see that look you're giving me. You want me to put you up there since your buddy Seth's up there? Well, let me tell you something, brother. I actually don't, I don't know. If Seth Rollins is up there, surely Dean Ambrose will go up there as well. Nah, you know what though, I don't think Dean Ambrose has done as much as Seth Rollins. I don't think he has put on as many matches that make me go wow and obviously he's in AEW now so his WWE career was cut short compared to Rollins and I don't watch him in AEW so I know he's a good good wrestler I know he's great and he's he's a daredevil you know he like proper risks his life his life his life when he wrestles some of these matches in AEW so he, do, he does deserve a lot of respect but I'm just going to put him in the great category. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm, I'm sorry. But he's close. He's very, very close. C.M. Punk. Again, he's going up top. Like, <laughs> there is no doubt in my mind that C.M. Punk is one of the greatest of all time. When it comes to promos and mic skills, he outdoes everyone here in the GOAT section. Like, 100%. None of these goats outdo CM Punk on the mic, and as a wrestler, he was just fantastic. Some of the key matches that come to mind is his match against John Cena at Money in the Bank, his match against Undertaker at WrestleMania, his match against Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam. I have seen some incredible CM Punk matches, and yeah, he just is one of the best I've ever seen in my life. And he, if he comes back, man, oh my god. I will cry tears of happiness. I really will. <laughs> Up next, we have Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio, okay. Rey Mysterio is... is... I feel like he is, again, one of the, the greatest of all time, to be fair. Am I... Am I putting too many people in this category? I don't know. I thought that this category would be really short. Like, there wouldn't be that many people in the GOAT because the GOAT is such a an elite status and not many people really should be getting that status, but the names I'm seeing here, 
I'm seeing a lot of goats, you know? And Rey Mysterio, again, is just one of the goats. He really is. The Rock, and again, yeah, he's just, yeah, he's one of the goats. Let's just, let's just not lie here. He's one of the goats as well. Daniel Bryan, oh, he's... <laughs> I might have to move some people down a notch, you know? But no, like, I, I'm not changing my mind. I think all these people are truly some of the greatest wrestlers of all time. And Daniel Bryan, to be honest with you, is no exception. <laughs> I swear down. Edge as well, he's going there. He's one of the greatest. John Cena, he's going there. Kane. Kane. Does he belong in the top category? I think this might be a different story for Kane. Kane is obviously one of the the most famous wrestlers, right? Everyone knows Kane. Kane and Kane and Undertaker. Kane and Under Kane and Undertaker did very well back in their prime. But I I wouldn't put him in the goats. I would I. No, I think I would. No, I would, I would, I would. Kate, yeah. Wait, there's two. There's two, there's two. What does that mean? So, when he has his mask off, what category does he belong in? And when he has his mask on, is it a different story? Does he put on better matches? I think that's what I was saying there. So, for Kane without the mask, I'm thinking like the days of corporate Kane, the days of... Like when he was a world champion and he cashed in on Rey Mysterio. Um, and he has wrestled a lot with his mask off. And he's still done very well. I would say this version of Kane would go here. <laughs> 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 I don't know, to be honest with you, I'm kind of stumped. I'm going to put both of them up here, to be honest with you, because Kane just is, overall, one of the GOATs. Truly, he truly is. Um, Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar. As a worker, he doesn't show up much, you know? He doesn't really... He's a part-timer, so he doesn't, you know, show up that often. But when he does, when he does, I've got to say, Brock Lesnar puts on amazing matches. Absolutely phenomenal matches. I think every Brock Lesnar match I've watched in my life, which is quite a lot now, has been thrilling. He's such a good wrestler, so he's going up there in the goats. Promo-wise, he doesn't really speak. Paul Heyman does a lot for him, so that kind of loses some points, I guess. But still, he just has a joy to watch. As, as, as a wrestler, you know? Ah, Kurt Angle, there he is. So I'm glad I didn't mix up him with Rob Van Dam because here he is now. I would say Kurt Angle is also one of the GOATs, really. Yeah. Randy Orton, one of the GOATs. Batista? Oh, he's up there as well, he just is. Roddy Piper? Hmm. He's one of the legends, I guess, so I'm, just, I'm, I'm pretty sure he would go up there as well. Actually, I, but me personally, I've not really seen much of his matches, so I can't... Like, I don't think I've seen a single match of his, to be honest with you. So I don't really know where to put him. But I know the viewers, you guys will be thinking, yeah, he deserves to be up there, right? But I don't know, because I haven't really seen him wrestle. I guess I'll have to put him up there. Yeah. Undertaker is going up there as well. And Mick Foley is... He's also going up there as well because, like, the matches he's had in his career have been very different to pretty much every other wrestler because, I mean, for number one, he got thrown off Hell in a Cell, nearly died. Number two, came back, got thrown through Hell in a Cell, nearly died. And I think his ear got ripped off as well. He lost some teeth, broke a lot of bones. So that guy right there is a true, true goat because of the risks he's taken and the, I guess, the sacrifices he's made. So there we go. That is the best wrestlers of all time ranked in a tier list. A lot of them are just goats because that's the thing like 
the wrestlers in this list are near enough the greatest of all time because it is a, a it is a best wrestlers tier list so there's no trash ones you know so that is it for my first ever tier list video i am definitely going to be making more of these videos there's a few more ideas i've got in mind but that is it for now so drop a like on the video for me if you guys have enjoyed subscribe to the channel so you never miss another video thank you all so very much for watching and i will see you in the next one